Hey guys, it's Spencer from Buildapreneur and we're gonna talk about marketing automation, email automation 101. This is probably my favorite subject in the entire world is marketing automation because it's so cool and you can get so much done and then go and sleep and have your your uh, you know softwares and your email marketing automator continue to work for you forever. It's super cool. So we're just gonna look at like a 101 overview of how marketing automation works, how email automation works. Um, I'm gonna be doing everything inside of Active Campaign. okay? I've included a link down below if you're looking at it and you're like, whoa, I love this software. I want it. Uh, there's a link down below to sign up for Active Campaign, and it comes with some pretty cool bonuses at the end. I'll kind of explain everything that I give away at the end. But uh, what marketing automation is, okay, is basically a way for us to personalize for people, okay? We want we want people that, that come into our email uh, newsletter list to get emails that are that are more based around them and their interests and like where they're at in life, right? If someone's you know, super poor and can't afford a $2,000 huge high level product, we don't want to sell it to them because it's just going to be a waste. If someone's like this really, you know, they've, they've purchased four of your products and they're missing, they've purchased everything you sell except for one thing, well, we probably want to try to sell them that one thing because they clearly love you. Um, and so that's what marketing automation does is it tries to segment out your, uh, your all these people coming into your email autoresponder and it tries to make it so everyone gets emails that work for them, okay? And it gets it in automation, right? Um, so all these people, they, they give you their email address and then from then on they're getting tons of emails that are all based around who they are and their buyer persona and how they've like interacted with your emails and your website in the past. Um, so super, super cool, right? Um, now what we're going to talk about is the way it works is it works through, so what you can look at right here is just a sample automation, okay? So I have people that come in. I use different um, things to get them into my, you know, they fill out different forms and things like that to get into this. But what it does is it starts sending them emails, okay? So that, that part's pretty simple. This is just one list. They come into a list, they get added to a list, and then it starts sending them these emails, okay? This is my marketing automation, okay? But something that's important is what we do, okay? What we do is we do this through lists and tags, okay? And what we do is when people do certain things, you know, if they interact with our emails in certain ways, we tag them or we put them in a list. And what that means is we want people to be grouped with like-minded people. So if someone buys a product from us, we put them into a list in our email autoresponder. This is a list of people that buy. If someone clicks a certain link, maybe we'll, we'll list, put them in a list or we'll at least tag them so that we can identify those people later on. So I'm gonna look in here and kind of show you what I'm talking about. Hopefully you're not too confused by that. So when somebody is reading this email, it's my first email and all it is is a really good intro email where I say, hey, you should join my Facebook group. It's a pretty cool Facebook group. And you can see there, there's just a link to my group. And, oh, the action isn't on that one, it's on the bottom one, but I'll show you, okay? So when someone clicks this link in my email, I wanna do something, okay? Oh no, someone's calling me. I want to uh, tag them or add them to a list of people. In this case, I'm just gonna tag them, okay? When they click this, I wanna say, join FB group, okay? And now they're tagged, that person is tagged. And what that means is later on, Maybe I'll send out another email saying, hey, you should join my Facebook group, but I won't send it to these people because they've already joined it and that's just a waste of an email, right? Um, and so I'm tagging that, them as join FB group and that's how everybody's tagged that that's, I'm assuming they've joined by the fact that they've clicked, okay? Um, I could also add them to a list and then I have a list of everybody who's in my Facebook group and I can email people that are specifically inside of my Facebook group and do a lot of cool things with that list, okay? So that's the way marketing automation works is we're, we're building lists and you can see here, I'm gonna show you my lists. We build lists based around what people do and then every time they interact with our email, we tag them or we add them to a new list, okay? So up here I have all my lists. La, la, la. They just changed that, sorry, I haven't, uh, they just moved all the stuff from the top to the side, so it kind of confused me. So I've got people that have purchased this product, okay, of EnderCon. I've got people that have purchased this product, people that have uh, um, purchased this product through a different uh, sales funnel that I have going, okay? I've got people that have signed up for a free course, okay, and those people are in that list, so that means that they're never again gonna receive an email about that free course, because they've already done it. I've got people that have gone through a sales funnel where I sell this stuff to them, okay? So I'm never gonna sell these things to them again. They're tagged with that. Um, and then I've got a list of people that uh, never have opened any emails, in which case I'm just gonna stop emailing them. You know, I've sent them 10 emails, nothing's ever happened, I'm just wasting my money, so eventually they'll just disappear. 
Um, I've got a list of people that have purchased one of my courses, okay? They've purchased my, my flagship course here. It's called Affiliate Secrets that teaches you how to do affiliate marketing. And they're all on a list. So I'm, not, I'm never going to market that course to them again because that's a waste, right? And so I'm building all these lists. And then when I'm, when I'm writing my emails <clears throat> in my automations, I can exclude people that are on certain lists, okay? So the way I would do that is back in that automation that we were just on, the funnel, there it is, okay? So in this automation, let's say down here I start to sell a, I start to sell that course again, okay? Or I'm sending these emails. I could add something right here and I could say condition, if else, and it says, how would you wanna split it? And I'm gonna say, well, contact details, if they have the tag, okay? I could do tag or I could do list, but let's say they're, if the tag, whoop, is and there's right here purchased affiliate course okay tag exists purchased affiliate course okay then it's going to segment them okay and as you can see now it's got two different options i'm going to zoom out a little bit okay <clears throat> so it's saying right here in the automation these are all just emails you're sending an email i'm waiting a day i'm sending an email i'm waiting a day well right here this says now i'm going to split it and i'm going to say if they've purchased your affiliate course, yes, you know, if, if they meet that criteria, start sending them these emails, these blue things are emails. Send them this email and this email and this email. If they haven't, then start sending them this email and this email and start selling them your affiliate course because they haven't bought it, okay? Obviously, people that have bought your product and those that haven't need different emails. And so that's, an, that's how marketing automation works. We're tagging people and then every email can be personalized whether they actually deserve that email or not. Okay, and then the second thing I wanna talk about is triggers, okay? So we want, we basically use triggers to make certain things happen. So when, when someone's on one list, I'm gonna to have to go back and edit this now. All right, everything's fixed, we're gonna talk about triggers, okay? Triggers are what makes certain email automation start, right? So this is an email automation. Well, what makes it happen? Like what, what makes them start sending this email to people, right? So we would click add a start trigger um, and obviously it's different depending on what platform you're using, but we can say, hey, if somebody subscribes to a list, for example, if they purchase a course and I add them to my purchase list, I could trigger an automation that starts emailing them, you know, stuff like, hey, I'm glad you bought the course. Here's some more additional learnings. <clears throat> um, if someone submits a form, so Active Campaign is going to give you forms and it'll, you can have pop ups on your website. And when they submit uh, their information in that pop up, you can start sending them these email automations. You could have an automation trigger when somebody reads an email, okay? So someone um, opens and you see that they've read your email, you tag them as having read the email. Well, then I could say, hey, when someone reads this email, I know they've read it, they've, they've taken one step, I want to start this automation now because the whole purpose of this automation, automation one, was just to get them to understand this concept and I know they've read that email, so now I wanna move them on automation two where we're gonna start sending them other emails about this concept, right? Um, we could say click the link in an email. So like as an affiliate marketer, my goal is to get people to click links, to go places and buy things. So once they've clicked the link, I, I now assume they've purchased, even though obviously that's not always the case. Um, but once they've clicked the link in an email, I wanna say, okay, stop emailing them about this product that you're promoting because they've already clicked the link, they've learned about the product, um, and you know, you're probably just bugging them at this point. And so move them on to automation two. Um, you can do all kinds of things, like uh, when a certain um, web page is visited on your website, you can add like code to your website so that it can track people on your website. Creepy. Um, event, uh, when you could, you could do when they share an email, like you can tell people to share an email and then you'll give them something or something like that or forward an email, things like that. You could do tags added, right? So I have a tag when someone buys a course and I put a tag on there, on their buyer persona so that a new automation will start and my old automation will end. So these are called triggers, okay? They're just things that, that start your, uh, your email automations that you're sending. And uh, there's obviously tons and tons and tons of them. <laughs> Um, which is awesome, okay? There's a million ways to make things happen. Now, I, I actually am using a, a, a software that automatically starts the trigger in this one. That's why there are no triggers. Um, but essentially, I have 10 automations. They all have triggers, which are basically things that a person will do that will make that automation start. And then they all have ends, okay? Which is basically when someone accomplishes a goal that I have for them, whether it's clicking a link or opening an email or buying a product, then that automation discontinues because the whole purpose of that automation has now been realized, okay? So this is Marketing Automation 101. Um, I hope it wasn't confusing. It's a it's a somewhat complicated subject, okay? And Active Campaign does it better than anybody else as far as making it somewhat simple for you to kind of like visualize and see what's happening. Like you can see here, I'm sending an email, I'm waiting for a day, 
Um, I'm waiting till, you know, it's not a weekend anymore. I'm sending another email. I'm waiting for a day and I can just add little steps in here. And then at some point I'm going to break it up and I'm going to say, hey, have they opened this email? I just, you know, and if they have, well, then I'm going to start sending them this. And if they haven't, I'm going to send them a similar email because they never even opened that email. Okay. And Active Campaign helps you visualize that really, really well. And that's why I love them. So anyway, like I said, there's a link below to Active Campaign. One, two, there's a link below to a pretty cool course I'm creating. Um, if you're watching this, like to like the day I launch this, you're not going to get. Uh, there's not going to be a second link. But uh, if you're watching this after a few weeks, there will be a link to an awesome email course that I'm creating, totally free. All you got to do is put in your email address, and I'll send it over to you, and it'll get you started much further than you know, like the real um, meat and potatoes of marketing automation, email automation, how to send an email that like makes money, which is kind of the goal of most of our emails. Um, so yeah, go ahead and uh, click subscribe and click one of those two links. If you want an active campaign, get that. If you want the free course, get that. And thanks so much for watching. This is Spencer from Buildapreneur.